value in art is the lightness or darkness of a color. And that is one of the elements of art, which is the building blocks of art. If you look at different colors, some are light and some are dark. And that is exactly what value is. If you go to Home Depot or, or any other hardware store, you'll probably see some of these paint chips. And if you look at each paint chip, that's a great example of value. The ones on the top are going to be lighter and the value gets darker as it goes towards the bottom. One way to make different values is by adding white to a color. If you have a color and add white, it creates a lighter value color and that color is called a tint. Another way to change the value of your color is by adding black to a color. If you have a color and you add some black, it's going to make a darker value color. And that is called a shade. Color plus black is shade. Another way to make different values is by adding gray to a color, which is adding both black and white because black and white makes gray. So color plus gray, it's going to make a duller color, which is called a tone. Where do you see tints in this picture? Tints are color plus white, so they are the outside parts of this color wheel. Where do you see shades in this picture? Shades are color plus black, so it is the middle part of this color wheel. This one shows opposite, the middle part are the tints, and the outsides are the shades. Another way artists show value is by making a value scale. Value scale helps you practice making different values. It's a scale organized from light to dark or dark to light, and the artist will practice making each of these values with the art medium, which is the tool that they're using to make their art. Value can also be used to make your objects look three-dimensional. So if you just draw a circle and color it with black, that's going to be a shape because it's flat. But if you have a circle and color in different areas to make it look like there's shadows and lights, then it's going to turn into a 3D form, which is a sphere. By using value, you can make your artwork look three-dimensional and realistic. You can create value by mixing paints. You can make value by pressing down hard or light with your drawing tool. You could also make value with lines and dots. If you make values with lines, that is called hatching or cross-hatching. If you make value with dots, that is called stippling. Here are some examples of artwork using each of these techniques. So hatching is drawing those stripe lines to make value. Cross-hatching is kind of crisscrossing your lines to make value. And stippling is making lots and lots of dots to make value.